Anaya Inouye is a star already, but to increase his stardom, you know, he which he said that he has an interest in doing, um, you know, it, it, it would behoove him to fight in other places besides just Japan, you know. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. So we have some news. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold. Wait. First of all, you're not going to speed past that. Um, you know what I'm saying? My lips are a little dry. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might, I might, I might need to cut that out. You know what I'm talking about? Out here looking like LL Cool J. Don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. But um, I had um saw a post, you know, about Big Turk man. He's been in the news a lot lately, you know, especially today and the last few days, you know, for a plethora of things, all boxer related, of course, you know. And um, most recently now, today, he 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 has turned his attention to now yet anyway, you know what I'm saying? Uh. Uh, the number one, two, or three pound for pound king depends on how you look at it. It's interchangeable between him and um, Alexander Usyk and Terence Bud Crawford, right? So you know, me personally, right now, I have Terence number one, I have Usyk number two, and now you're in a way number three, how it currently sits. But any any order that you have them in is pretty pretty acceptable. But he has said that man, he would like to work with Naya in a way next. You know, he would like to get Naya in a way outside of Japan. <laughs> Now, before you groupies and you fanboys and fangirls who don't listen or or maybe you're not able to comprehend the context of things. <laughs> he's not saying that because now you in a way needs to prove himself skill wise anywhere else or that he needs to raise his competition it has nothing to do with that it has everything to do with exposure similarly what i've been saying i've been saying this for the longest man it would behoove now you in a way to travel and fight abroad not because he needs to fight people in other places not that he needs to fight other caliber uh, higher caliber of fighters it has nothing to do with that but the fact that he fights solely in japan it limits his exposure like for example when you go to the other side of, of, of the the globe, you know what I'm saying, the Western Hemisphere or other locations and different continents, like like let's say that if you go out and go to Europe, even you know, or, 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 or Africa or different countries, you know, like like England and Australia and, and America, then that will severely increase your exposure and let people become more aware of your greatness because as it sits right now he likes to fight in japan and that's fine but when you fight in japan and you're fighting on a tuesday at four o'clock in the morning the club going up, going up on a tuesday well on tuesday at four o'clock in the morning if you're in america per se i'm gonna go off of america reference because i'm in america um then a lot of people are either sleeping or just waking up and preparing for work to start their day so they're not going to prioritize seeing the fighter and if they do hear about the fighter like you should hear about now you anyway because he is a popular the guy you know what I'm saying and he is a beast but when you do hear about him you know you might see you know your your your, your interest in it may be reduced because you didn't see it live so then you might uh, uh be limited to or restrict yourself to watching a tiktok clip hey, you're a casual or an instagram clip of the fight and not catching it in, in its entirety but if you fight in england or australia or or, or america or jamaica or wherever you want to fight then it'll give people with other time zones um, another chance to see you. So that's all Big Turk is saying. That's all I've been saying. And um, yeah, and you know, uh, uh, Naya anyway is a star already, but to increase his stardom, you know, he which he said that he has an interest in doing, um, you know, it, it, it would behoove him to fight in other places besides just Japan, you know? Um, so yeah, he's limiting himself by, by staying at that one geographical location. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I've been saying this, I would repeat, I'm gonna repeatedly say this, and I'm gonna still say this, like I'm, I'm gonna wake up at any time and watch box because I'm a boxing crackhead, so. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> It's two. It's, it's four o'clock in the morning. We got the club going up on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna turn on. I, I mean, if you know my channel, we provide live boxing commentary. Whether the fight's in America on a Saturday night, whether it's in England on Sunday uh, during brunch in your crumpets, or if it's on Tuesday in the morning in Japan, we're gonna be up. You know what I'm saying? So because that's how much we like boxing. But other people, especially casuals, they're not gonna make that sacrifice if you will they're not going to take the time and put forth that effort just to watch boxing you know and he's already kind of limited because let's face it the lower divisions in boxing uh are are 
are less attractive for the casual fan, not for the boxing purists or the pugilist enthusiasts, but particularly for the for the boxing casuals. So, you know, and, and casuals are what make up the majority of any market, you know, whether you talk about athletics, uh, uh, um, industry or you know what i'm saying anything you talking about what you talking about just limited to boxing or other categories or genres of sports like basketball uh football anything you know casuals make up the majority of the market so in order for him to be more um marketable or even just make, make it more accessible you know um i think this would this would help man whether he fights in saudi arabia america uh, uh puerto rico brazil you know uh um uh, ghana wherever you know or england it doesn't matter you know just just to switch up the location and then watch now those of you that made it this far in the video big salute and thank you watch how many people in the comments are going to act like i said something offensive towards anyway just because they see the thumbnail or they see the title and they see big turk talking about it and they just like to get offensive because they're emotional. You know what I'm saying? Get out your feelings, little bitch. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all, y'all be easy. Take care, y'all. So y'all, let me know what you think about Nike. Anyway, do you think he's fine strictly fighting in Japan? Do you think it would it would help out his brand if he fought in other locations? I think this is a no-brainer. I definitely agree with Turkey Alashik here, Big Turk, and I've been saying this, man. But yeah, don't forget to like the video. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.